All praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, Shalom. The Lord will choose Israel again. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Now, the scriptures say, the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel. Now, the definition for yet, when you look it up on the free dictionary, yet is an adverb. And it means at this time, for the present, right? So at this time, he's going to choose Israel for this present time because the Lord never changed. The Heavenly Father does not change, nor does the Son. Now it says, up to a specified time thus far so forever really at a future time which is now are we not in the future eventually which is now because there was a falling away we fell away from our heritage but now we have it back in this future time besides in addition so forget everybody else. The Lord is going to choose Israel. Okay? That's what that's talking about. Okay? Still more even. So he will even choose Israel. Nevertheless, he will choose Israel. And despite this, he will choose Israel. Nevertheless, he will choose Israel. Up to the present time, up to now. Let's get to the point, man. Which all that was the point. But we're gonna get something else. Yet, ever at the present time, now, up to a particular time thus far, in the time remaining, to the present moment, as previously, still. So he will still choose Israel. In addition, again. So he's going to choose Israel again. Yet choose Israel. Again choose Israel. And that's the point that I wanted. So Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai will have mercy on Jacob, Yaquab which is the forefather of the Israelites, but also Jacob is interchangeable with Israel. So it's another name for Israel. And will yet choose Israel. And will again choose Israel. And set them in their own land. That's getting ready to happen. When the Lord comes back in the chariots. And the strangers shall be joined with them. These strangers are Israelites. Israelite foreigners. We have the law of the Israelite foreigners. When, we, when uh, you're reading our law, the Israelites that lived outside of the land of Israel, they will be called strangers. Even your different family members, man, in the different states, outside of where you live, you'll come and visit them. And when you leave, they'll tell you, don't become a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Meaning what? Don't be unfamiliar with them. Still keep in contact with them. Because you're strange if you live far. 